Young at Heart by Pam Young. It's time to be happy now, not when your circumstances are different. When you deepen your relationship with you and take the time to look at yourself with new eyes and truly honor the holiness within you, your circumstances will change with ease and grace. Your problems are a window to the sacredness within you, whether you're in a mess at home, in a relationship that's frustrating, feeling a financial crunch, in a body that weighs too much, whatever. The very thing you call a problem is an opportunity to get to know that you are adorable and adored. Self-improvement is a lifetime path, but it's a pursuit that doesn't lead to a place where everything is perfect. When you reach what you thought was your final destination, you'll find that you have farther to go. Yippee-skippy for that! Think about how fun it is to want something you know you will receive. When you do that, you're looking forward to the thing or the circumstance. I think that's why it's so much fun to fall in love. You want that person and you know you're going to get him because he wants you too. And then you get him. That's fun too, but never as fun as the getting part. You love teachers that let you know in a loving way that having what you want is doable. I teach that having a home free of clutter and confusion is doable. Because I could change, so can you. You know that I was exactly where you are, and I can give you hope because I know if I could do it, you could do it too. You get excited about the possibility. I can tell you, when you get organized and your home is peaceful, clutter-free, and an oasis from the hectic world, it will be just like a platform for you to do and be more. There will never be an arriving, only a continuation of the quest, so you'd better have fun on the way. I wrote that in the Sidetrack Sisters Happiness file more than 20 years ago. Oprah is touting a new book, Women, Food, and God, by Janine Roth. I watched the show yesterday, and Oprah talked about the negative connotation of the phrase, full of yourself. Janine said, be really, really full of yourself. That sounds awful until you think about it. We are adored, but no one ever tells us that because it's kind of an unused word unless you're using it in a religious sense. We are loved goes right over our heads because we overuse the word love. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm loved. What's for dinner? I heard a speaker tell of her neighbor's cat. They named him Party Cat because whenever they had a party, the cat would always come over. Well, Party Cat was at the party and was getting petted and talked to, and he got in a big chair and rolled over on his back and just basked in the love that was being bestowed on him. And someone asked the cat, What do you do to deserve this? Everyone laughed because they knew that the cat deserved the love and attention by just being a cat. We are all just like Party Cat. We don't have to do anything to deserve the love that God has for us. What we can do is start practicing basking in that love and being happy right now regardless of our situation. It's so easy to do, really. Start by catching yourself complaining or whining about something. And once you've made the catch, start thinking about all your blessings. Gratitude is like sulfuric acid when it comes to dissolving worry, anger, depression, and a long list of negative words. It takes a little practice, but practice makes it easier and easier. Yes, it's time to be happy now. So be it.